Hi and welcome back to the last section of this course. The previous section was all about automated testing and debugging Angular 2 components. The goal of this section is to give you an outlook of what Angular 2 makes possible. Specifically, at first we will look at mobile devices and then at server-side rendering. So let's straight move to the first video. In this video we are going to explore how to create a hybrid Android as well as iOS app with Angular 2 powered by Ionic 2. So Ionic has been around for a while now. Uh, it actually started with Angular 1.x and with Ionic 2 it now moved on to Angular 2. They have also revamped their docs where you can find mostly everything you need to get started. So let's give it a look. And we are especially interested in the getting started section and the installation of Ionic. As you can see there are the instructions for installing the Ionic CLI, which is a really powerful CLI that helps you get started quickly with an Ionic project. So let's try this out. So I have already installed locally on my machine the Ionic CLI, so I won't do this again. Instead what we are going to do is to set up a new project using that CLI, and we call it Home Auto. We start from the tutorial scaffold, then we also give it the version 2 for using Ionic 2, and finally the minus minus TS for using TypeScript, because Ionic makes it also possible to start with plain ES6. As you can see this basically downloads the Ionic base app, and installs all the required npm packages. Great! So let's open up our code editor on this new project. So what we get is a nicely set up project. The www folder is where the source will be compiled and then served up in a phone's web view and our app resides in the app folder basically. Now we can quickly try this project by using Ionic Surf and as you can see this builds the project and then starts it up in a browser and we get a nice sample application which got generated by the tutorial flag we provided at the setup phase and as you can see we get a list view with some detailed view and nice transitions between the pages. Great, so if we open up the application and take a closer look we see that we don't have the classic bootstrap phase or also the component decorator like inside here but instead we have an app decorator. And these are basically custom constructs, custom decorators, that come from the Ionic Angular package. And they are obviously already optimized for being used on the mobile devices. Also, if we open up, for example, the Hello Ionic TS file, we see that we don't have a component here, as you might expect. But instead, we have a page decorator, because actually the mobile application is built up of multiple pages. So if you look at this one here, for example, we have this first page and we have a second page and we navigate between these pages back and forth. This is because mobile apps basically follow a different kind of paradigm than traditional web apps. The very interesting thing though with Ionic 2 and hybrid mobile applications is that we have a high potential reuse of our Angular components from our desktop application like our home automation system which we created previously. And to demonstrate this let me create a new folder, components, and a new file down in chart directive and I think you already remember I'm going to paste in the code here which we used on our desktop application basically the donut chart which we created with D3. Now obviously we also need to install D3 and the coding typings package and then I'm simply going into the list view here and let's reuse basically the HTML page here without going to create a new one. So already by opening this HTML page you see there are no divs or other elements you might find familiar, but instead there are custom directives like ion content, ion list, and these are all Ionic provided directives and components which are optimized for mobile. And in fact, if you go to their official web page, there is a components section there which has already some nice UI components for you. And what is great, it also shows a preview on the right hand side while you scroll and you even get a preview on the different mobile devices like iOS, Android and even Windows Phone. So let's quickly take this out here and create an ion card inside here. And then we instantiate our donut chart directive just as we did on our desktop application. Now finally let me open the according page implementation here. And also here we simply remove everything because we don't need this one. And instead let's import our donut chart directive. Now we obviously also have to add it to the directives array, just as usual. And finally add the humidity percentage number, which in this case is just a static number. Finally, we can also add a CSS 
for our component. Ionic has predefined support for SAS files, so we can create a SCSS file here, copying our CSS styles, and we also have to reference them on the CSS files. As you can see, there are different kind of CSS files per environment, like iOS or Android. Great. So now again, we do an Ionic surf. The application opens up, and then we go to the My List view. And here we go, we get our nice D3 chart rendered on the page. As you can see, this was extremely easy and we could directly copy the component from our desktop application here to the Ionic mobile application. That's really awesome. Now, while the browser is nice for developing, we should really launch our app on an Android phone or an iOS phone. So let's first start with iOS. We can do this by simply going to the command line again, and then we execute Ionic run iOS. And this will compile the project and it opens up directly the emulator, which is an iPhone 6S Plus. And as you can see, the application opens up. It is also nicely themed for an iOS application and also our D3 chart works properly. Similarly, we can do for Android. We enter Ionic run Android. And again, it compiles. Now the first time, since Android is not added by default as a platform, you have to do an Ionic platform on Android. And once that is done, we can again execute Ionic run Android. And now as you can see, it opens up the emulator and boots our application. Now, obviously you need to have installed Android on your local machine, which I did already before, because otherwise it won't work. You won't have an emulator. Also, as you can see now the application opens and it is themed with the material design, which is native for Android applications. You get those nice click effects and also our D3 chart runs perfectly. Great. I think it's amazing how far you can reach out with Angular 2, right? So in this video, you had a good overview to get started with Ionic and start building great apps. Also, when you're searching for Angular 2 and mobile apps, you might want to take a look at Telerik's native script, which is another kind of approach for developing mobile applications with Angular 2.